Since 1985, a murderer has roamed the streets of South Los Angeles. He's taken the lives of 11 people. As you know, she was only, she just turned 18. Porter Alexander says his daughter Monique struggled with a drug problem, and police say she was one of those who fell at the hands of a serial killer dubbed the Grim Sleeper. She said, I'm just going to the store, Dad, I'll be right back. Uh, I told her, please come back. Uh, I'll be here, and uh, please make sure you come on back. Me and my wife are sitting on the couch. And uh, it's the last time I see my daughter. He hasn't been found. Los Angeles police have a description from who detectives believe is the only survivor of the killer. Investigators have some DNA, which hasn't linked anyone. The case has hit a dead end, but detectives have this phone call recording from 1987. Central. I'd like to see the police station, remember? Yes, I'd like to put a, a murder, a dead body or something. Where at? The address is 1346 East 56th Street, in the alley. The call had described the Barbara Weir crime scene exactly. It's how responding officers found it and detectives documented it during their investigation. You know, he like, he threw her out. The only thing is hanging out of this, like he threw a gas tank on top of her and, uh, and the uh, only thing you can see out is her feet. Okay, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? Oh, I was getting the knowledge. <laughs> I know too many people. Okay then, bye bye. All right. The body, later identified as Barbara Ware, was then covered with trash and a gas tank placed on top. The caller spotted the killer and told police he saw him dump Barbara Ware's body in this alleyway from this blue van. He even named the license plate. One P Z P seven four six. Police traced the van to this now defunct church in South Los Angeles. No one inside at the time seemed to know anything. The trail ran cold, and that's why investigators released the emergency call. A grand prize would be if this caller would come forward and tell us today what exactly he saw and, and who he saw. Renewed attention to the crimes and maybe justice for the victims and their families. Well, it means a great deal to me. It means that uh, they're not just sitting on it now as they did before. Uh, it, it means that the community is becoming more aware of it. His victims were almost exclusively women. An L.A. police detective say he last struck in January of 2007. If you have any information leading to the Grim Sleeper's arrest, please give the Los Angeles Police Department a phone call. John Moan, the Associated Press, Los Angeles.